In this tutorial, you will learn about sketch tools. As you can see here, there are two options for grid. Sometimes when you are working on uh, some projects, you will have to create some drawings which follows a certain unit, a unit spacing. So you can set that unit spacing and you could on the grid snap. So you could easily You could easily draw a profile like this using the grid snap. So if you off the snapping, then you could use this as a reference, but you won't be able to snap. You won't be able to snap that with the grid. So if you on this, you could see that the your tool snaps or your profile tool snaps to the grid. Now, if you off the grid and on the snap, you could see still it snaps, but you're unable to see where it snaps. So that's about the grids. Coming to the access point, which I had already mentioned before when I was uh, explaining you about the profile tools, but still I'll mention it here. If you on the construction and if you draw something, the output that comes is a construction line. So as I mentioned before, the construction lines won't be seen when you sketch out and uh, get into the part design workbench. Now we have uh, two more options here. One is a geometric constraint and another one is a dimensional constraint. I'll explain you both. So when you create a hexagon, if you off the geometric constraint and the positional constraint, the dimensional constraint, and if you create a hexagon, you can see it doesn't have any automatic constraint being on here. Whereas if I create that same hexagon, enabling these two options, you can see that uh, the hexagon is already constrained now. Now another option is Now for example, I need to apply a corner. So I'll click on the corner and I will select two edges here. And as you can see a corner is created. Now if I disable the dimension constraint and if I just go ahead, you can see that the corner is applied but there is no radius being created automatically because the dimension constraint is off. Now. I will do the same thing now with the dimension constraint on and you can see the radius whatever radius is applied is being projected in the drawing now you could always change this to whatever values you want so that value will be applied now when you're working with the grids let me just give you a quick tip if you need to increase the size of the grid, you could always go to options and uh, go for mechanical design and select the sketcher. And here you could decrease or increase your grid value. For example, if I click on 100, just remember the size of this. It goes back and now every, every square is 100 mm. So that's about the sketch tools. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned.